Hey, welcome back to the channel. So glad to be with you today. Happy Monday. And I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to share with you seven quotes that if you apply them to your life can set yourself on a path to freedom. And I've had to work through all of these as well and still maybe working through some of them, but just becoming aware of these concepts I think is just absolutely life-changing. I'm having a good day off today, day off in quotes. I did work from uh, basically about eight o'clock till around noon, did some errands in between. I made about $75 part-time, got home, I'm studying some real estate, which is kind of fun, um, making this video, which is fun. I'm gonna list two things for sale, a journey album and this brown leather case to put cassette tapes in, list those for sale. Um, and then just kind of have a nice family night. We played Frozen, um, Disney Frozen Monopoly yesterday with the family. That was really fun, just uh, how the kids were making us laugh and everything. And I somehow, I think, won the game for the first round. But let's get into the deep quotes that can set you free and get you on a path to become the best version of yourself. Number one is overthinking is the biggest waste of human energy. Trust yourself, make a decision and gain more experience. There is no such thing as perfect. You cannot think your way into perfection, just take action. And I, I can apply that to my life certainly with starting this YouTube channel. It's far from perfect, but I think I, I can make, um, I've made some progress and I've made some impacts and you know, you start it, um, with becoming a waiter, becoming your job, you know, changing jobs. I can look at it as when I want to get into real estate or I never waited tables before, but there's no such thing as perfect just start, just take action. I, I can go through it all in my head as much as I want, but I just have to make a decision and gain experience as we go and cut out the overthinking. Just go. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Just go, try it out, do your best. If it doesn't work, do something else or you gain that experience and then you try again. Number two, put your happiness over everything. It's your life. It's your happiness. Don't worry about what they will say. It's your happiness over everything. I've started to apply that to my life. Um, I've had a lot of, I have a lot of happiness in my day. I don't dread a lot. I don't know, at work, I wasn't happy all the time. And then I started to prioritize my happiness and put myself in a position to where I was willing to walk away to be happy. It took a long time for me to get to that point and just even getting to that spot in turn made my main job more enjoyable, which in turn made the rest of my life more enjoyable. So don't be afraid to take a chance to, to make a change, to take action, to take steps that will improve your happiness. Start today and don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Whether you're taking a lateral step, a step back, a step forward, depending on how you define it, um, put your happiness over everything. Number three, fear makes anxiety spike. So change the dialogue in your head about what's real fear and what you have created. I think one of the most amazing concepts that you can encounter on your break free journey and my break free journey is the dialogue in your head is not real. It's not even necessarily you. It's just your monkey mind doing thought loops about what's going to happen tonight at work, what's going to happen tomorrow at work, what's going to happen if I don't do this, what's going to happen if so-and-so might think this, if I wear this, or if I do this. No, it's all just what we have is right now. Right now. And I don't see any real fear right now. Maybe turning on this camera for a half a second, but still, that's a joke. There's no real fear right now. So what's the fear in your head that you're creating? that's making your anxiety spike. Understand that's the dialogue in your head. There's steps to ease that. First to become aware, there's meditation, um, there's exercise, there's journaling, 
many different ways, but notice that thought loop in your head and understand what's real and what is not. Number four, fall in love with taking care of yourself. Fall in love with deep healing and fall in love with the journey of becoming the best version of yourself. I've fallen in love with that path and it's far from perfect because who is? So that being said, you have to do it. You have to fall in love with this process of healing and this process of taking care of yourself no matter at where you are in your life. You have to do it with patience and kindness and respect to yourself that I'd like to get stronger but I have these aches and pains. I'm trying to diet but I had this snack. Um, you know, I'm trying to get up every day, but well, maybe I slept in a little bit too much. Maybe I stayed up a little bit too late. Um, you know, maybe I didn't work out. Maybe so and so. No one's going to be perfect. There was this quote I came across from Marcus Aurelius and it was like, okay, you know, you're going to make mistakes. And this is 2,000 years ago wisdom. But don't let yourself, you're on the path don't get yourself too far off the path, you know, because then you're going to make a mistake. Come right back on. Come right back on. The mistakes are going to happen. Just don't let it jar you way off into left field. Stay near the path and get back on as soon as possible and start building up those reps of health and healing and stretching and diet and exercise and journaling and, and being present and putting your happiness first and taking action and you'll be right near that path okay number five quote that will set you free on the way to having the best day ever and becoming the best version of yourself set boundaries today and your heart will be thankful tomorrow boundaries where relationships at work socially professionally you know how much are you willing to do how much are you willing to take Know, set those boundaries. Don't be wishy-washy about it because then you're just going to keep, you know, finding yourself in the same position without those boundaries, maybe around your heart, around your happiness, things are going to get in because there's no clear boundaries and uh, you will not be thankful. So set the boundaries today and you'll be thankful tomorrow. Number six, let go of the need to be right. Let go of the need to prove a point. Let go of the need to prove the truth. Does it really matter? You know, does the argument matter? You know, in the comment section of, of the news on Facebook or even the comment section in a YouTube video um, with your partner, with your kids, with your neighbor, with anybody, with coworkers, with strangers, a person in line. You don't have to be right all the time. You don't always have to prove a point. You're not always right all the time. I think that is something to consider as well. Just let it go. You'll be free from one less thing that you got to prove every single day. Just be on the path that you need to be on. And then something that I have to watch myself with from time to time is to work hard, but know when it's time to reset, know when it's time to rest. And there's there's always something I think I could be doing, and I always question if I'm doing enough. Um, but there's times when you just gotta chill. And there's times when you gotta get after it. And hopefully you can find that balance with something that you really enjoy doing. And I've found that, personally and professionally, there's no burnout in either. I get up every day and I really enjoy what I'm doing, whether it's at work or for pleasure. I'm very blessed and I do not take that for granted. I'm always trying to make each side better, professionally and personally, and just trying to become the best version I can because there's no point in stopping now. I want to keep getting better. I want to keep growing, keep learning, getting stronger, getting healthier, happier, more grateful. I know there's so much to learn and there's so much to improve and uh, I'm enjoying the process and I got a long way to go. I'm going to keep it up for a few more hours today and then I'm going to lay on the couch and chill out and then I'm going to look forward to a happy and productive day tomorrow. I wish the same for you. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know anything I might have missed. Let me know anything you could relate to and I will talk to you on the next video. Break free.